Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The apply non-resolution settings node. We're not going to run through our example. We're going to run through the node and then the example. And the node's actually really simple. You're basically going to get your game user settings, plug it in as the target, and you apply your non-resolution settings. What do I mean by that? Pretty much anything besides the screen resolution node and the full screen mode node will get applied when you use the apply non-resolution settings node. So let me actually show you this in use. I need to go to my example. I need to hide my background image here. I need to hide my test image so we can actually see through. And let's run this in its own window. After it pops up, we're going to see our menu overlaid on top of a generic scene so we can actually, I can show you some of these things. So when I clicked in, I clicked on 30 frames per second. Let me go back to 60 and let me hit apply. And you're going to notice nothing changes. Let me full screen this and hit apply. Well, nothing's changing. Let me go, let me drop this down to 1280 by 720 and hit apply. Still nothing. These settings, windowed mode and full screen type, will not change when you are applying non-resolution settings. It's things such as our 3D resolution. If I was to drop this down and hit apply, you'll notice my 3D models are now much softer. They're no longer as sharp. I'm actually rendering at 50% resolution now. If I was to jump it back up and hit apply, you'll notice they go back to sharp. It also affects our FPS. We're currently running at 60. You can see green right here. I can hit 30 and hit apply, and now we'll drop to 30. I can go to 120, we'll hit apply, or I can even go to unlimited, which basically runs it at the smoothing setting because I have smoothing turned on, which is 62 FPS. Now if I had the other settings in here, which I will show you here in our palette, let's clear this out and let's go to settings, it would apply them as well. So what I mean by that is you have things such as your post-processing quality overall scalability level which is technically would work but it's kind of affecting everything at once shadow quality texture quality things like that view distance visual effects those are all of our non-resolution settings and they will apply once you hit the apply button now one thing to note unlike the normal apply settings button which applies everything and saves the applying non resolution does not save this is useful if you want to allow your player to make some changes. They can see the changes immediately. Maybe you have an FPS counter running and they can see the effect it has, but they don't really like it. Or, for example, these were settings that required more VRAM than they had and the game crashed. Usually, these two nodes, the apply resolution and non-resolution, are used for testing purposes. You want to go ahead and apply them, make sure they work well, make sure they confirm with the player that they work well, and then just run a save settings node out of your game user settings and actually save it to disk. So that's it. That's going to wrap up our node. And remember, it applies everything but these two nodes here. Let me scroll over. The apply non-resolution node will apply every setting you set in your game user except for the screen resolution and the full screen mode. And it does not save to disk. 